Neighbors, 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 what's going on with y'all, man? Appreciate y'all coming through to check us out here at Pier Quality Canines. Different scenery today, y'all. I know y'all expecting like, hey, man, why you dude in the backyard right now? He always in the backyard, y'all. Uh, man, I'm out in the woods today. I actually got a call while I was at work. Um, my buddy, Greg, and I done spoke about him on this uh, video before. Uh, this is his land where I'm at right now. This is actually where I do some of my hunting, y'all, and I caught that hog um, earlier earlier this year. Yeah, earlier this year, y'all, I bagged a hog up here and um, fed it to my dogs. Well, he gave me a call today and said this morning he was up here hunting and um, didn't catch what he was looking for, y'all, but um, an 80-pound hog that came through, y'all, so he went ahead and knocked it down. He gave me a call and told me he went ahead and skinned that thing up for me. So that's actually why I'm up here to pick it up, pick up that meat, take it back to the house, y'all, throw it in the deep freezer. Usually with hog meat, y'all, um, or pretty much any animal, including us in this world, y'all, we, uh, we're filled with disease and germs and things of that nature. So with them hogs, one thing I try to specifically do before I give it to the dogs is freeze it for about 20, 30 days, y'all. Then at the same time, too, um, on the day that I do feed them, y'all, I'll let it thaw out a little bit and still um, throw it on a little grate with some fire, y'all, and kind of burn it. You know, just being extra safe side or extra careful, making sure they don't catch nothing. Um, that might hurt my dogs, y'all. I don't know if y'all see that boy Scoop, y'all. He love it out here. I'm going to show y'all him in a second. But, yeah, that's what we up here for right now, y'all. Like I said, I just picked that meat up, threw it in my trunk, and, um... We just down here exploring a little bit, y'all. This area right of South Carolina, y'all, is right at the tip of the South Carolina, North Carolina border. Um, it's actually called Table Rock, y'all. Real beautiful place. Beautiful scenery, y'all, especially with right now, fall coming in. All the leaves are starting to change, y'all. It's real nice out here, man. Let me show y'all this little um, this little river rock and I guess you would call waterfall he got. Y'all see that boy scoop. Y'all, I love bringing them up here, man. I know this natural fresh water, y'all. I don't know where it feeds from, man, but I know it's healthier than anything coming out my spigot at the house. So I love bringing my dogs up here, man. I really appreciate my buddy Gray. And like I say, one for um, hitting me up with that hog, because uh, that meat definitely gonna come in handy. But at the same time, too, y'all, let us come up here, explore. I don't know what that was, y'all. I seen some little fish. I don't know if it was a fish or a crawdad. One thing, come on, Sue, come this way. Y'all, this area looks a little different from the last time I was up here. Like I say, it was summertime or right before summer when I got that hog, y'all. Now we're going into fall. And then at the same time, about three years, three weeks ago, when that storm, Helena, the Hurricane Helena, y'all, that storm that came through, uh, it knocked down a lot of stuff, man. Y'all see that tree down there? We're going to go down here by this little river rock real quick. So it is looking a little different, y'all, but I love it, y'all. I love this. I love this rugged, man. It's just something, man. Um, I grew up in the city, y'all. But it's something about nature, man. Something being out in the woods that I'm really drawn to. That's why I've spoke to y'all before. And one of my big things I'm working on right now is um, trying to acquire me some land. So coming up here, y'all, until I get my own, um, this really kind of fills that void a little bit, y'all. And then at the same time, too, um, strengthen my resolve that much more to want to get out here, y'all, get away from... Get away. I ain't saying get away from people because I'm a people person, y'all. I love crowds at the same time. When I'm through with the day and I want to be alone, I want to be with family, y'all. I kind of want to be out. I want to be away from people. Uh, I want to be closer to nature, y'all. I want to walk across this water a little bit. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got some fish off in there, y'all. I don't know if y'all see them. Hold on, let me see if I can bring that camera in a little closer. We got a little something down there, y'all. Ain't nothing that's gonna make a sandwich, but. 
how they say with a small one and big one somewhere I ain't gonna lie y'all man it's beautiful right here what's up boy come on man how how could you not love this man how could you not love this just think of the possibilities and maybe my possibilities and what I think about doing up here is kind of lame or boring y'all but I ain't gonna lie, man. I can sit down on this rock right here, y'all. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it real quick. <clears throat> y'all, I can see myself in the summer months, man, coming down here when the water's still running and it's a little bit warmer, y'all. And, uh, man, taking my shoes off, man, putting my feet off in the water. Maybe sitting back with a good book, reading it. At the same time, too, man, letting my dogs run around, be dogs, and really enjoy themselves, man. Um, I got plenty of land. I got plenty of room for my dogs, y'all. But just like what I want for myself, I want for them, y'all. And I want more. I definitely got to make that move happen. I got to, y'all. And, and, and the crazy part is, scoop. The crazy part is um, I could have been accomplished that years ago, man. Um, like most of us, we don't blew through money um, in our lifestyle, in our life. You know what I mean? Depending on what our lifestyle is, y'all. But if I would have been more, if I would have knew, y'all, that's it. And even if I'd been more, if I would have knew, you know what I mean? Uh, just growing up, I was never really to experience just this y'all this right here like i say man i grew up in cities all my life y'all living in apartment complexes sometimes home but um everybody's always on top of each other everybody's always on top of each other you might not even want to um be in your next door neighbor's business or what's going on down the street y'all but sometimes you can get caught up in it because you're just a part of the neighborhood and I love people, y'all, but man, this is the dream right here, y'all. This is my, well, this is my dream. This is definitely mine. Um, some of my family members, I'm gonna have to twist their ankles or their arms a little bit to realize what I see and what I want for my future, y'all. But at the end of the day, I, I know this is, this is where I'm gonna be, y'all. This is where I'm gonna be, man, and not long. And that's the reason I talk about it so much and wanna come up here and see it, y'all, because Anything in life, man, before it comes physical, it's first mental. You know, it always starts off as a thought. Uh, a lot of things we accomplish, you know, start off as dreams, as wishes. Y'all, this is one dream. This is one wish I really have for myself. Um, like I say, to acquire some land. And not just land, y'all, but away from people, y'all. So I can kind of build a place up for my family. You know, for my future. Mm -mm -mm. Really, y'all shouldn't be making no video right now, man. I really ought to just be sitting down enjoying this. Come on, man. How could you not want this type of lifestyle for yourself? My boy Scoop, y'all. He's right behind me, man. Keep looking around to see where he at. That boy ain't gonna stray too far from me, man. Y'all, like I say, man, I ain't gonna make this video too long, man. Uh, I wanna sit down and enjoy this a little bit. You know, just like making this content, y'all. Uh, it's almost like stealing the way being on your phone. Uh, sometimes you can miss life, y'all. You can miss good opportunities to make memories, y'all, by always being on your phone, man. Uh, that's one thing I'm starting to really notice. I'm not going to stop giving y'all content, but, you know, sometimes it's good to go ahead and put that phone down. And just really enjoy. 
You know what I mean? Be, be in the moment. Come on, boy. Hey, y'all, I wanted to walk through here, man. But like I said, that storm, Helena, uh, made it really wreck this area. Uh, there used to be a trail. <laughs> that used to be a trail. There was a trail somewhere around here, y'all. Let me see if I can find it. We can do a little exploring. At the same time, too, y'all. I got to... I got to keep my eyes on this ground. I don't know how. It ain't a very hot day, but I'm pretty sure there's still snakes and things of like that. Rattlesnakes, copperheads, y'all. I got to be mindful of. I don't want to get bit. Definitely don't want to get my boy bit. I'm going to do a little bit of do a little bit of walking. I ain't going to go too far. For the simple fact, just like living in the city, the woods got its own dangers, things you got to be careful of. Like I say, the snakes. My buddy this morning, like I say, when he was hunting, um, he caught that hog. At the same time, too, um, he had seen a bear, a lot of black bears up here, coyotes, bobcats, um, most wild animals, unless they hungry, are just savage. Us coming through here making this noise is going to run most of them off. Still, you got to be careful, y'all. And I'm kind of foolish because I ain't got no weapon with me. Not so much as a knife or some bear spray. And I'm really hoping we don't run into nothing. That's why I'm kind of stepping hard because I don't want Spook to see anything like a coyote or a bear. Not that I'm worried he can't handle himself, but we so far away that I would have to put him in my car, maybe leaking and bleeding, so I can get him to home to get some help. The things that got a little too bad. Y'all, this boy is not leaving my side. That's another thing too, right? Y'all have seen these videos before when I take Scoop up here. And he is alone. Usually, I either have Layla or I'd have had Lucky up here with him. They, He would have took off. You know what I mean? And Took off and kind of explored a little bit. But this boy ain't leaving my side. And he's stopping when I'm stopping, y'all. So we ain't gonna make this. We ain't gonna make this too long. One thing I did do when we had got out the car, like I said, my buddy had already skinned the hog up. Went over by that area. Well, Scoop already was kind of pulling me towards that area, y'all. And he was, oh, that's a big old. Y'all don't see it. Oh my God, y'all. Y'all see that spider, man? See, almost. That's the only thing. <laughs> that's why. Hold up, y'all. Let me bring it in. Hold on. Let me see. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see if I can get... Oh, there we go, y'all. See, that's why we're going to go ahead and turn around. We're going to turn around. You know what? I didn't run into no spiders coming up here, y'all. So that's, that's my sign to turn around. I ain't going to lie to y'all, y'all. Um, I'm ready to tackle a bear. I'm ready to mess a coyote up. With no spiders, man. I can't do nothing with them. Boy, and that thing was taking up the whole little trail. Nah, we ain't gonna do that, y'all. We ain't gonna do that. Not for no views. <laughs> hey, I don't do spiders now. Listen, y'all. And y'all, I believe that spider was nothing but a reading spider. Uh, I think that's what that was. I doubt it would have killed me, but I don't do no spiders, y'all. Real. Put me in front of a wild animal on the any day. 
Um, I'll take my chance in spider. I was enjoying myself. Now I'm on high alert, y'all. <laughs> now I'm on high alert. But hey, y'all, I ain't gonna be here too much longer. Like I say, we headed back down to the um, the stream, y'all. I'm gonna sit down there with scoop a little bit, y'all. We're gonna bond. You know what I mean? Enjoy the day. I say, here's my buddy's land. We don't get up here much, man. I appreciate it letting us come through. But it just strengthens my resolve to get my own little piece of this American pie, y'all. One thing about land, uh, it's the only thing in the world they're not building anymore, y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed, but they're not making no more land. Uh, it's going to come a time if you ain't got it, you ain't going to be able to get it. And the sad part for a lot of us, um, like I say, man, wasting money, not really thinking about this at the time when we're doing better in life. And a lot of times it takes, damn it, man. Y'all, that spider web everywhere, man. I gotta make a new trail. Oh. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, a lot of times, man, we wait till we get older to really start looking at our future and what we really want to do in life because a lot of times we end up doing what what the crowd wants to do you know what i mean do what's in the end do what we see everybody else doing y'all um i ain't never been that type of person but at the same time um uh, i was ignorant to a lot of things like having my own piece of land my own piece of pie um where i can enjoy y'all like one thing about the woods a lot of people wouldn't want this type of lifestyle. And I ain't talking about <laughs> building no barn or nothing, y'all. Um, definitely, I get some, house, get some land. I'm going to put a house on it. Uh, I'm going to have the comforts <laughs> of a lot of people, y'all. But still, um, when I step out my door, y'all, this is where I want to step out to, man. This is where I want to see. We're going to make that happen, I promise, y'all. And at the same time, too, everything I do, I'm not going to leave y'all out of the loop, man. Because one thing, I try not to be braggadocious when I talk about things of this nature. Um, I'm hoping I inspire somebody else, too, man. Inspire us about because of the possibilities. Because, you know, a lot of time, um, people just don't know, y'all. You know, United States alone, man, is a very big, vast place, y'all. Um, there's a lot of open land, open spaces like this, but you're going to have to get out. You're going to have to get away from people. Um, you're going to have to learn to be alone without being lonely, y'all. <laughs> well, hey, y'all, man, we back at our rock. Man, I'm about to sit down, man, and chill. Like I say, it's too cold right now. Can't dip my feet or nothing, but we're going to chill for a little while enjoy this day sit back and just really think y'all you know think about you know i already got my plan a you know for plan b and c because getting land is just one part y'all um uh, especially if you're talking about getting barren land where it's not been inhabited y'all uh, there's trees everywhere like this that you're gonna have to cut out and uh bulldoze y'all to even find a place where you're going to build your home, y'all. So, you know, just getting the land, that's going to be plan A, y'all. Uh, there's going to be so many more steps I'm going to have to take till I get it to how I want it to be. Hey, y'all. That being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this view a little bit. Like I say, man, I got to uh, I gotta enjoy it myself for a minute, too, man, without being on this phone or recording on this camera. So with that being said... Y'all know I don't start with it. I'm always going to finish with it, man. Make sure y'all hitting that like, subscribe button. Hitting that notification bell. Y'all don't miss nothing we got going on over here, y'all. Because um, I know y'all just now getting to know me. But you ask anybody that know me, and this is fact. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. 
If I ain't gonna do it, y'all, if I ain't set to do it, y'all, I ain't gonna speak on it. Believe me, when I open my mouth about a subject, uh, you can believe. Uh, I told I told somebody else one time before, man, uh, if I tell you I'm gonna bust your head, you just go ahead and consider your head bust, man. I'm coming for you. <laughs> That being said, man, I appreciate y'all coming through. Yo, where my boy Scoop go? Boy, this boy is not leaving my side, y'all. There might be something out here. That being said, man, we're gonna catch y'all next time. We out. AKA Spider-Man, AKA the Spider Menace. But rest assured, dear viewers, we here at the Daily Bugle will not rest until we've uncovered the- Well, I'm Jake Jonas.